Good morning, boys and girls. Lovely to see you here. We're the Sunday after Easter. I hope you've had a great week, been able to get out in the lovely sunshine in the garden and do lots of things that, uh, well, you wouldn't all often do because at Easter we're normally away. But we're at home and I trust you've had a good time. Not eating too many Easter eggs, as I've already said. Some of us have and we shouldn't have, but that's Easter. But this morning I want to read just a few verses from John's Gospel, chapter 20. And reading from verse 24. Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with his disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail prints in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later his disciples were in the house together, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And we thank God for his word this morning. You know, boys and girls, there's a, a great book, the Guinness Book of World Records. And I, I love to read it sometimes. And just read about some of the extraordinary feats that people have performed. Things that I didn't think were possible. You know, and sometimes it is hard to believe the impossible or seeming the impossible. Can you answer me the question? How many people do you think would fit into a mini car? Now that's tiny, tiny wee mini. How many people do you think would fit into it? 10? 20? Well, the answer is 28 people. That's in the Guinness Book of World Records. And how they ever fit it in, I, never know, I would never know, because it's tight enough getting four people in, never mind 28. Can you answer me this? How many dusted donuts, sugar-coated donuts, can anybody eat in three minutes? How many do you think you could eat? One, two, three. Well, the world record is nine now, how anybody ever eats nine, I will never know because they're hard enough eating one in three minutes, but nine in three minutes. And, well, this is a, this is a question for Karis. You know, Karis is a, a nut on Lego. There's Lego everywhere in her house. They even bought her a, a Lego castle for her 60th birthday. I don't know what they're going to do for her 90th, but we'll see. But Lego, can you tell me, what is the largest number of Lego sets owned by one person? Now, it's not Karis. What's the largest number? Well, the answer is 3,837. There must be no room in their house for anything else, only Lego. But to see it is to believe it. Now, Thomas, we read together, he's known as the doubter. His name means the twin. But Thomas wasn't around when all the disciples first met with Jesus after he had risen from the dead. And they came and they told them this exciting news, Jesus is alive, Thomas says, unless I see the holes in his hands and the, the hole in his side where he was cut with his spear, I'll not believe. And the way Thomas tells it is that he will definitely not believe unless he sees. He was a bit of a doubter. I'm afraid I can sympathize with Thomas because imagine this message coming to you. The man that you saw that was crucified, he was laid in a, in a tomb, is now alive, walking about, meeting and talking with them. But you know, about a week after Jesus had risen from the dead, his disciples were gathered in a room. They were there to meet together, to think about what they go forward, to find fellowship, to encourage one another. And suddenly, even all the doors were closed and all the windows were closed, Jesus appeared in the middle of them. And his first words were, peace be with you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Now, there would have been some in that room who may well have been afraid because it would have been the first time they'd met Jesus after he'd risen from the dead. Is this, who could this be? What marvelous, miraculous thing has happened? But Jesus turns to one person. And he says, Thomas, he says, Thomas, put your hand or your finger into the hole in my hand where the nails pierced it. Thomas, take 
your fist, took, take your hand and put it into the hole in my side and then you will believe. You know, Jesus had heard of Thomas's words. He had also was aware of Thomas's doubt. And Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet have believed. You know, today, boys and girls, we can't see the holes in Jesus' hands. We can't see the hole in Jesus' side because that happened so long ago. And we're called to, to, to trust in him, to believe that he's alive because he has made such a difference in so many lives. He is the promised saviour who has come into the world. And we're called to trust him, to believe him, to believe that he is no longer dead, but alive. Just as it seems impossible to fit 28 people into a mini or, or to eat nine donuts in three minutes, Sometimes it's hard to believe that the Savior who died is alive, but he is. And the promise of God is that he is in heaven waiting for us up to the day that he brings us home to be with him forever. Jesus said, blessed are those who believe and have not seen. And that's us, boys and girls. And we encourage you to trust and believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior and your friend. We're going to share together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for this opportunity of coming together as boys and girls. We thank you for our families, for our moms and dads and grannies and grandas and uncles and aunts. We thank you for our homes. We thank you for the food upon our table, for the health that we enjoy. But Lord, today we also want to thank you for Jesus, the, the Savior who is risen and is today in heaven. Be with us as your children, as the family of God, Encourage us and help us to believe in you. We pray for those who don't believe that in these days they will come to know you as Savior and Lord. We come together as a family and we pray as you taught us to pray when we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, have a great week. And we hope that you keep safe and that you enjoy being at home with mum and dad and with your friends. And think of some extraordinary things that have happened that you wouldn't believe, only they have. And they are an amazement to us, just like Jesus has risen from the dead. Have a good week. Every blessing.